Are you drowning in junk? Trying to figure out how to declutter your home? Sometimes making things easier for ourselves involves letting go of all those extra things that we simply don't need. This is my list of 24 things I am not buying in 2024. Let's jump right in, shall we? Now, so many people have been sharing these, but to me, these are the key things that I feel must be on my list this year. And the last one on my list might shock you. nail polish. You don't need it. You don't need to spend even more money to get your nails done. People don't really care that much about your nails. Just keep them well trimmed and groomed. Plus most polishes have harsh chemicals that are just bad for your nails. Extra money, extra maintenance. Coffee. You know that mocha frappuccino latte skim milk you get at the local Starbucks, which basically costs you the price of an entire bag of coffee. Make your coffee at home. Don't make that extra drive and spend the extra gas money to get over there. Just wake up five minutes earlier, buy a milk frother if you have to. In fact, I just asked for one this Christmas and it has been a game changer. One of the best Christmas gifts I have received this year. It tastes just like the real deal from the comfort of your own home. Makeup. Now let me be clear, I wear makeup, but I only have one lipstick, I don't have 10. I have one base foundation, I don't have three. I stick to the basics and I don't have tons of eyeshadow palettes or various brands of foundations or concealers. Books. Now I'm not saying I don't read folks. I'm just saying that if you want to start your own library, don't make yourself broke over it because there's already one right down the road. Utilize that or borrow from your parents' house. Thanks mom. Food. I mean, fast food and junk food and also buying tons of food to stock up on. My husband always makes fun of me because he claims that we never have any food in our cupboards. But the truth of the matter is that the more food you have in the cabinets, the more you're tempted to overindulge. And if you want that junk food, bake it yourself. You'll probably be less likely to eat it because of the effort that you'll have to take to make it. It also saves energy from your stove and maybe you'll lose a couple pounds in the process. It's a win-win. Low quality items. As we all know, so many things are made so extraordinarily cheap these days. You know, all those plastics and materials that always end up breaking and then later on need to be replaced. Just costing you more money in the long run. Better to save up and buy high quality items, especially furniture and home appliances. Scented candles. Not only do you run the risk of forgetting about them and then potentially burning your house down, but most of them have harmful chemicals that are just toxic to your health. And the same applies to perfumes. Now one is fine for special occasions, but as a rule of thumb, anything containing perfume is a toxin. Extra subscriptions. So interestingly, more and more people are watching YouTube as opposed to other subscriptions or TV because you can learn things. It's educational, whereas a lot of other TV is just mindless fill your time with random things that you don't care about or don't matter. Plus, it's absolutely free. You don't pay to watch YouTube. I mean, I myself am on here all the time learning things from other YouTubers, honing my skills on certain things. There's just so much information that you can just soak up by sitting down to watch a YouTube video of somebody explaining it and sharing their expertise on certain subjects rather than watching a Kardashian cat fight. And all for what? Infotainment is the way to go, I say. And it's a great way to further your education by broadening your horizons on various subjects. And with that, a gym membership. Who needs fancy equipment when you got toddlers hanging off your arms all day? Or rooms to be vacuumed, laundry to be put away? If you're gaining some extra poundage, ask yourself, just how sedentary are you throughout the day? Don't be sitting staring at a screen all day long. Don't eat too much, especially junk food. Practice moderation in everything. And you won't need to pay somebody to let you exercise. Get outside and go for a stroll with your kids. They could use it and so could you. Jewelry. I keep it very simple with my day-to-day -day basics. I just never have enough fancier occasions to wear stuff anyway. Plus it's just extra money that you're gonna be spending on accessories that you don't even wear every day. Toys. My kids already have a million and one things that they never play with as it is. And yet somehow they manage to make a complete mess of everything. What I would far rather save up for is to take them places. Trips that we can all enjoy together. Like a night out to a favorite restaurant or a fun outing to a local attraction. Honestly, especially with the really little ones, they could be more happy playing with a plastic plastic water bottle, or the jingle of your car keys. You will also save yourself quite the headache from trying to find the place to put all that stuff, which just ends up getting thrown about the house anyway. Far less clutter to stare at day to day too. Oh, and battery operated toys? I think that speaks for itself. Not only do the batteries run out so fast, the noises on those things can drive anyone insane. Multiples of the same item in your wardrobe. Why? Just why? Why do you need 10 different scarves? Why do you need five different coats? Pick one, people. Uno and make it count. You don't need shoes in every color of the rainbow. You don't need that cheetah print purse or those flaming red pair of shoes. Keep it neutral, 
keep it simple. Pajamas. I mean, I don't really have the extra space for it, so that kind of helps. But really, you can be just as comfortable in a t-shirt and a pair of shorts than having a separate pair just for the bed to see. And same with the kids too. I mean, they do have a few pairs from like this past year, but most of their play clothes can just serve the same purpose. Seasonal items, kitchenware, clothing, all of those things that you only wear for one time of the year. And then it disappears away into storage. Why? It's another poor excuse for picking in man's pocket every 25th of December. Okay, I'm not Scrooge, but really, you don't need it. Buy neutral colors so that you can match everything that you already have in your house, and then match those things to your seasonal decor. Trendy items. How many times do you buy what seems at the time to be a cute pair of earrings or a nice little jacket, only to find a few months later it's considered out of style, and then you're looking for something new the next month? Stick to classic pieces. That way you're not pulling out your wallet every single time you see something new and shiny on the market. Juice, soda, and alcohol. Basically, anything besides water. Why? Because it's free. Because it's free. Free. Because it's free. I mean, as long as you have a filter, that is. And it's so much healthier for you. It won't cost you an extra hefty sum every single week. Yes, we all like a fizzling drink every now and then, but get used to the crisp, cool, clear water, water, water. Okay, I'm done. Gasoline. I'm not saying I never go anywhere, but find more reasons to stay home. Don't always be looking for excuses to get out of the house and get in your car and drive somewhere. It's extra gas money and extra time wasted. And then you spend more money at the store by browsing for things that you just randomly did not need. You could take up drawing or reading or painting. Sorry, airplane. Okay, things that don't cost you extra pennies. Impulse purchases. We've all been victims of it. You're about to check out and bam. You see that bag of goodies and your stomach just starts rumbling or something cute and sparkly catches your eye. Put the weapon down. It promises you happiness, but you'll end up regretting that you spent those extra dollars on something that you really didn't need. Pets. What can I say? They poop, they pee, they need to be walked and fed. When you go away, you need somebody to watch them. A lot of responsibility and a lot of money. We'll just leave it at that. Now, this last one may come as a shock. Stainless steel appliances. <gasps> what can she mean? <clears throat> well, my friend, you know how often you have to clean those things? Toasters, coffee makers, refrigerators, etc. They're fingerprint city. It's a nightmare. White and black coming back. In fact, that milk frother I just got is white. Any other appliances of ours that need replacing this year will not be stainless steel. Okay, <clears throat> here's our scripture verse for this episode. Matthew 9, 19 tells us, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe so that you do not miss my next video. And if you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment below. Let us know what are you not buying in this year, 2024? How are you saving money in the coming year? Check out my playlist for frugal living. I'll have it linked below and I'll see you next time. Peace and blessings. Guys, thanks so much again for watching. If you're interested in any of the products that I mentioned in this episode, I have the link down below in the description box. I do receive a small commission for every item purchased. Thank you so much for your continued support and go check out my playlist to similar topics to this video. See you next time. <laughs>